welcome to our Halloween special. Should be fun. Hi right, guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. I'm having a very spooky, spooky day. No, seriously though, I really am. But we're going to leave that alone for today. All right. So for our Halloween special, I asked our Discord server what to do, and I've got some like requests to get through today, so I didn't want to do nothing too long, so we're doing two tracks. One from an album we just hit like a couple weeks ago, um, Warren uh, Zevon, uh, he's going to be doing uh, Werewolves in London, I believe, and then Credence Clearwater Revival is doing Bad Moon Rising. Um, I've never heard either of these but they all they both vaguely sound familiar like the titles do you know what i mean so maybe i have heard them i don't think i have though i believe this was maureen and was it fd hold on i want to make sure i got the right one i always like to credit people no it was dan for the credence song and maureen for warren's song so let's go if y'all want to subscribe help brother out click that icon right below my face i'd really appreciate it you want to uh, get help me get more Halloween candy for the girls come join patreon do whatever man. It really helps. I promise All right, first up is gonna be Warren with werewolves of London. Oh, it's of London. I thought it was in London. Sorry <laughs> three two one go Oh, I, that sounds familiar already Piano sounds familiar. You hear him howling around your kitchen door. You better not let him in. Little old lady got mutilated late last Whoa. night. Werewolves of London. Another turn. <laughs> this guy's good at it. Gent who ran amok in Kent. Lately he's been overheard in Mayfair. You better stay away from him. He'll rip your lungs out, Jim. <laughs> I'd like to meet his tailor. Salon Cheney walking with the queen Doing the werewolves of London I saw Alon Cheney Jr. walking with the queen <laughs> Doing the werewolves of London I saw a werewolf drinking a pina colada at Trader Vicks oh, wow. His hair was perfect I don't think he's talking about werewolves. Just a hunch. Uh. That hi hat. <laughs> well, that was awesome. That piano and the guitar, like the instrumental sounded familiar, but I never heard the lyrics to it before. Bad Moon Rising. That 
sounds familiar too. Come on, man. <laughs> Maybe it's just Fogarty's vocals, I don't know. Don't go tonight, you found and take your dad. There's a bad moon on the right. I hear hurricanes are blowing. I know the end is coming soon. I feel rivers overflowing. So good. <laughs> fun <laughs> ah, <ooh. laughs> I've no, I don't think I've ever heard that part like the piano sounded super familiar I, I mean honestly the whole instrumental did but um I don't know I feel like uh <laughs> they definitely feel like Halloween songs you know like the, the first one's like a fun kind of sounding Halloween song even though the lyrics are a little bit uh questionable not like in a bad I, uh, you know what I mean? Like, they're uh, maybe not so happy as the music would sound, you know? Um, and then the second one is kind of like a, almost like a moody Halloween pick, you know what I mean? And uh, I think uh, Credence, they can almost fit, like, any category, too. For all the stuff we've done for them, which is not too much, but I've done a decent amount of Credence. It's just been a little bit. Um, uh, they always just bring it no matter what, even if it's like a quick two and a half minute track like that, man, this, it's just so good. All right. Um, let's see. So for Credence, that was off of Green River, which came out in 1969. Um, it was the second of three albums they released in that year, uh, including Bayou Country and then Willie and the Poor Boys. So they released three in a year. That is crazy. Good for them, man. Fogarty's a freaking <laughs> prolific uh, artist. He really is. This was the lead single for it. Um, so it was John Fogarty on lead and backing vocals, lead guitar, piano, keyboards, harmonica, and the arrangements. Um... Tom Fogarty on rhythm guitar, Stu Cook on bass guitar, and Doug Clifford on drums. Killing it, man. That snare was so good, man. He was staying steady the entire song. I loved it. Um, but it was a pretty quick song, too. And um, other than, like, the acoustic guitar, I think, honestly, that snare is the best part of it. And then, the obviously, the vocals and such. Fogarty's got a great voice, man. It's just, uh, like I said, he can fit any situation. And the whole band can. Like, whatever they're calling for, whatever they need to do, Credence is there, man. They, um... I feel like they've been getting a lot more love lately. Like, I see them a lot, actually, on my feed. I see a lot of things about Fogarty and stuff like that. So, that's good, man. I like when uh, any band from this era gets some love, you know. They're that good. They deserve it. You know what I mean? Um, and then for the Warren track, which we just did two tracks from this album, Excitable Boy, uh, like a few weeks ago. That was released on uh, January of 1978. Uh, Werewolves of London was actually the reached number 21 and remained in the American top 40 for six weeks. The, the album brought a lot of commercial attention to Warren and it was his best selling album and it was platinum. Very, very good. Um, so that was Warren Zebon on Lord or lead harmony, Lord lead harmony and backing vocals, piano, organ, and synthesizer 
uh, George Calderon on harmony and backing vocals, Danny Korchmar on guitar and percussion, and then Russ Kunkel, my man on drums. Um, John McVie on bass. Oh, really? So, oh, so that was the Fleetwood people. Oh, yeah, Mick Fleetwood was on drums, actually. My apologies. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, Mick Fleetwood was on drums, John McVie on bass, and then... Yeah, that's it. And I uh, so yeah, man, uh, Warren's piano is so good, dude. And it's iconic as hell sounding. Like I already knew the song without knowing the song. Like I definitely think they've used that instrumental for commercials or movies or something cuz I know I've heard that. It sounds like, you know, like introduction music to like a movie scene or something, you know, dun 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 dun. dun. The guys walking down the street. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like. Um, but that, that was so fun. There's so much energy in that. I wish the songs were longer, honestly. I really do. Um, I love the howling too. That howling was great. Uh, ooh, that's going to be stuck in my head all night. I already know. Um, if I had to pick between the two. Hmm, that's a tough one actually. Um, maybe Credence just for the vocals. Cause I love John's vocals, but, um, I think the instrumental is better for werewolves of London. And that chorus is kind of hard to not <laughs> get stuck in your head. So that's kind of hard to pick. I'll leave, I'll say they're both great. And I'll say that was a good Halloween special. I know it's kind of short, but I got requests I got to do and finish up for y'all for this month. And I still have to do more tomorrow as well. And then hopefully we'll be done for October. And then it's uh, no effort November as our patron Richard coined it. <laughs> um, that, that doesn't mean nothing. Like I'm still going to be posting videos. Obviously it just won't be as many probably, uh, you know, probably like three or four a day because I don't want to do six a day for much longer. That's uh that's a little much. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't want to overload you guys. I don't want to overload myself, you know, and I know y'all are excited. You want to send a bunch of requests and want to see me do stuff, you know, and I understand, but at the same time, like there's not, like there's, there's some bands I do that like, I've got like probably an hour's worth of stuff I could talk about. You know what I mean? And then there's other stuff where I listen to it and I'm like, yeah, that was good. That was good. That was it. You know? So, I mean, I kind of, I'm like a heart on my sleeve kind of guy. It's not that hard to read me. You know what I mean? So it's pretty, you can probably get, you know, context clues, but I really enjoy both of those tracks. So thank you to Maureen and to Dan, I think, who suggested these for our Halloween special and honestly, that was kind of like the battle between Russ Kunkel and, um, oh, shit, what was his name? Uh, oh, I forgot. Already. Doug Clifford, yeah. Uh, it was like the battle of their snares, basically, for the drums in this. And if I had to pick one, shit. See, it's hard to choose things when, like, the songs are so short and that they're both so good and <laughs> they're so catchy, man. Um, man. I'll go with Clifford's snare because that just that snare hit every single measure was pretty good in that in Bad Moon Rising. I can't lie, that was pretty good. So I'll leave it at that. But Russ Kunkel is a beast and he killed it too. So yeah. <laughs> um sorry it's not longer, but the songs are pretty short, so that works out. Yeah. Um, now that like I said that, ooh, it's stuck in my head now. So I hope you guys have a happy Halloween if you're watching day premiere, and if not, whatever. Enjoy your day, whatever day it is. Um, I have to take the girls trick or treating tonight. It's going to be Danica's first time probably like being, um, cognizant and aware of what's going on for Halloween. And she'll remember it. She's got her butterfly ballerina Halloween costume. She picked it out herself. That's what she wanted. She wore it today. She loves it so much. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Have a good one.